So my tax return came in last week and I, it's gone. It's all gone. What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. If you can't already tell from the title, today is a big day. I'm starting the turbo build on my Miata. I am super excited to get that thing built. So if you guys aren't subscribed, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon. This turbo build is gonna be sick. I now have a brand new AM Yugo Wideband and a brand new Mega Squirt to plug and play. This and that are going in my car today. The only issue right now is that I don't have a laptop that can support the serial tuning cable. So I had to order an adapter and that's not getting here until Monday, which means car's not gonna move for the next like two, maybe three days, but it'll be all right. Obviously I've already done a lot of research on how to do these things. So let's just, uh, let's just jump right into it. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of me that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be. All right, so real quick, first thing I'm gonna do here is disconnect the battery, because we're dealing with electronics and shit. Okay, so now that the battery's unplugged, um, I'm supposed to take out this fuse, this ST sign fuse, um, and this will not be going back into the car. Okay, so now I'm gonna be going through and tearing out my interior, because what's gonna have to happen is the map line for the ECU that's gonna have to connect to right here, or just one of these, but that has to go through the firewall, and since I actually have AC and heat, um, I have to use this little grommet right over here. I don't know if you guys can see it, that grommet right there. To get the map line from the inside through the firewall out to here. Now, inside what's gonna have to happen, the tombstone has to come out, because the gauges I'm gonna be throwing into these fucking vents. That one's gonna be the AFR gauge, this one's gonna be the boost gauge. So I have to take this interior out again. And to get to the ECU, I'm gonna have to remove this trim, pull off this weather stripping, this panel, and then all this carpet should come right out and there should be a panel right there hiding my ECU. Okay, so I obviously did not do enough research on this because uh, every single video I watched was actually a 1.6 Miata getting turboed. On one six Miatas, the ECU is always just back there under the passenger floorboard. But on one eights, every single one eight, for some reason, it's behind the seat. It's right, it's right there. I had to pull the seat out, I had to take the top off, I had to undo all this trim right here just to get to that. And I'm gonna be honest here, I don't actually know how I want to mount the new ECU now, because I don't really want to drill into this panel. Like I was totally fine drilling in the passenger footwell. But like drilling into here, I don't really think I want to do that because that goes out to the rear wheel well. I don't exactly have anywhere else to relocate this because the one sixes they have a uh, they have like a whole like kick panel down there that you remove to get to the ECU, so no one like actually steps on it. But the one eights don't have that. <laughs> the fuck are you assholes doing? What the fuck? Unbelievable. I figured I'd stop by. You should day drink here. Unbelievable. I got friends trying to play cards a beat. So I'm gonna uh, go up there, play some cards. What the what, what the fuck are you doing here? I don't know. What a fucking hoser. Okay, so I have the ECU in right here, but it's not actually attached to anything. It's kind of just out here on its own. So what this hoser suggested was some. Apparently, there's a thing called ECU tape. That's like really sticky, double-sided tape. Probably just tape this here. I don't want this to move and possibly fuck up the map line. That's gonna be run from here, looped down through here. But for now, I'm gonna figure out how to get the map line ran through this. So the map line's gonna have to get run from here and I think I'm gonna use these tubes. I, I assume that's what these are for because they don't serve any other purpose. So the map line's gonna be run from here on the ECU in through these like plastic tube things. And then once it gets up here, I gotta find that rubber grommet that I see in the engine bay that we have to poke it through. All right, so quick update. I kind of just sent it and 
drill the hole in my firewall right there because that is just not accessible. But I drilled this one the same size as that. So I stole a grommet from that and I drilled a hole in it so the map line can go through this and not get snagged up and cut. And we got some tape right here. Um, I need to clean this area up and then hopefully this will actually stick and not dangle around. Yeah, I'm gonna get that figured out real quick. Okay, so like, I just came inside to like have some food with these fuckers. And like within the 10 minutes, there's now a party like right there. Kids these days, man. So I don't know how much more talking I'm gonna do because that shit is really annoying in the background. Um, Probably just gonna throw my AirPods back in and just keep working. Alright, so I finally got this map line routed in. It's right here. It's going down here into that hole that I drilled right there. Oh, that's really dark. Yeah, hole I drilled right there. And on the other side, it comes in from behind. That's dark as absolute shit. Alright, it comes in from behind all this AC bullshit down right there. And then through this tube. And then back here to the ECU. And I got the tuning cable plugged in. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have that go through the center console right here with the latches. So I can just like flip open the little cover and plug in my PC. Now I gotta put the seat back in, button everything up back on this side. And we're moving on to the wideband. All right, I'm back. Um, fuck, I just woke up. <laughs> Anyways. Today, it's time to get the wideband into the car um, and just put everything back together. Sadly, I can't get the car running today because I don't have the right adapter piece. So, like, my laptop does not have the right plug to plug into the ECU management. But I ordered an adapter and that's supposed to come tomorrow. So tomorrow, I should be able to load a base tune and get the car running, but for now, I'm just gonna be installing all the parts. It just took me two hours to get the stock O2 sensor out. This thing was such a pain in the dick. So basically what I had to do was I cut the wires off of this sensor and then I went to AutoZone and rented a, uh, an O2 sensor socket kit. So I used this socket with a U-joint on it to clear the, the frame rail that had just a shit ton of extensions on it. It just, it took fucking forever to figure that out. But now it's out, I can finally move forward with the rest of the wideband install. So I got the new O2 sensor in and I have that cable routed under the car in through the transmission tunnel. So right here you guys can see it just comes in right through the shifter boot and the rest of the extra cables all zip tied up right here. And here is the other cable for all the things you need for the wideband. This is the second plug that goes in the wideband. Um, I have it routed through the firewall, through where the uh, stock wiring harness comes in from like over there in that corner. Okay, so it's been like a hot minute since I started wiring. Um, I just, I've just been running in and out of the house, looking at wiring diagrams, figuring out where things are supposed to be going, but I think I have it figured out. Everything's wired up, so, so right here out of this, the red wire is the power wire. I'd extend that, and that goes all the way under the fender thing, right over here to where this is. And this cable comes OEM with this plug, but nothing plugged into it. This is like an accessory cable for like fog lights or something. So I just splice into that. So that's where it's getting power from. White is the output cable, so I have this actually spliced into the OEM connector right here. Um, all of the other wires are just taped off. So, signal wire goes through the stock connector into the harness. And lastly, the black ground wire here, I just grounded it to the ground point right there. So, I think that's it. I think that's everything. I just gotta put the car back together now. 
and then load a bass tune. So tomorrow I should be able to load a bass tune onto this and get the car started. But for now, my interior is still in pieces. So this has to go all back together and then I will show you guys what the gauge looks like after it's in one of the vents. Okay, so I've completely run out of sunlight, but I got the interior back together. Everything's nice and in its own little place. Now I'm just gonna stick the key in and hope uh, nothing explodes. Wide band works. Sweet. Now, I can't start the car right now because the bass tune's not loaded, so I don't actually know what will happen if I start the car. I imagine that like it just won't start. But yeah, that's it. That's that's the wide band and the ECU in the car. Uh wow. Yeah, what a what an adventure. Um I need to clean everything up from around here but everything's in so that's big hype i will be doing a separate video on throwing a bass tune on this car and then probably injectors so be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already just keep up to date with this build because the turbo is going to be sick i promise leave a like if you like the video and leave a comment letting me know what else you want to see me to do with this car once again thank you guys so much for watching I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Dang it.